All right, we have here a Midway dog patch. It's fully working and in great condition. I just put the uh, PCBs back in it. I had It had stopped working, I don't know, five years ago. And I had sent the boards into Electron Forge over in Ohio, <clears throat> guy that used to work on old Midway boards, and he had repaired them and sent them back. They had been sitting on my shelf for five years, and I just put them back in, and it is fully working again. Um, you can see the control panels in excellent condition. The bezel is perfect. And the paper bezel in there is actually perfect. And the backdrop is perfect. You'll see it when I turn it on and it'll light up. It has a uh, two-way mirror and it lights up with a black light, the backdrop in there. Cabinet is solid and nice, not water damaged or anything. Does have a couple flaws, like somebody, it looks like somebody drilled a couple holes here for a lock bar at some point. Um, this side is excellent. Looks like a couple of just very tiny blemishes. It does have both back doors. And I got new locks on all of it. They're all key to like. You can see inside here, there's the boards I just got back. Um, it's got the power supply upgrade. I think this power supply is fully working, but I went ahead and put the upgraded to a switcher with an adapter. I think you can get them at Arcade Shop or somewhere else. Um, but that way, you don't have to worry about power supply issues. Same key up here. This is in great shape back here. Um, that's that little paper 3D backdrop. Monitor has a good picture. Ah. Let's see. Um, there's a flaw down here on this side. The veneer just needs to be glued down. I don't know what happened. It looks like that's Formica got chipped there, but it's still there at least. It can just be glued and clamped. This side's in really good shape other than that. It's still got the original T molding and it's still in decent shape. I mean, that could be replaced and might make it look a little bit shinier and newer. But it's kind of amazing that the original T molding's still in good shape. All right, so let's, let me hang the, the key in here for the back, even though it's the same key as the front. Oh, it's even got the original cash pan and the cash pan cover which is pretty rare. Um, probably the original coin max. I, I don't know, it's two different coin max, but they're old ones, I know that. 44,000 clicks on the meter. It's got this rare, like, light brown midway coin door. Um, on off switch still works here, so let's turn it on. <laughs> I don't know why it makes that noise when you first power it up, but it does. I put new bulbs up here um, to light up the marquee. They're the 12 volt um, bayonet style. It takes a while for the monitor to come up, but uh, it's typical of a 45 year old monitor or 46 year old. Is that, how old is this? 1977, I think is when this came out. You gotta love the artwork. I don't know why there's no face on that guy, but it looks like that's the way it was supposed to be. Yeah, it's just the way they wanted it with this moonshine jug. Okay, it looks like the horizontal holds off a little bit. Let me adjust that. And the adjustments are on the other side. Don't you know it? No, they're not. All right, I'm gonna need to set this down and use a mirror because I don't know. Unless it's one of these I can reach right here. Oh, that's brightness. Um, is this it? Yeah. See, I don't really want to electrocute myself. All right, hold on. I'll start the 